so I brought you guys together today because across the next few days we're going to read some pages from this book by Seymour Simon and it's called Animals Nobody Loves. Are you starting to get some ideas already about what this book might be about? Mm -hmm. Already I see an animal on the cover that I don't love very much. A creepy, creepy spider, right? I like it. You do? Well, you know, I guess it's not animals that, I guess it shouldn't be that nobody loves. Some people probably love these animals. Um, but I'm going to be making copies of certain pages of this book for us to read together. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that we can write on these copies, okay? All right, so um, you said you like spiders, right? That's not an animal that you don't love. Can you imagine, though, any other animals that might be in this book? that you don't love. And you don't have to raise your hand in my group. You just can talk when nobody's talking. What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking people don't like sharks. So maybe there are sharks in this book. Agree. What about you, Kaylee? Ooh. What animal are you imagining might be in this book other than a shark and a tarantula spider? Bats. Bats? Huh. There's one th Interesting thinking. Maybe even those vampire bats, right? And what about you, Jayla? A cockroach. A cockroach. Oh my gosh, totally. I agree. Oh, and snakes. Maybe some snakes. All right, so one thing that I did is I copied the introduction to this book. And an introduction sort of sets the purpose for the book. So let's see in the introduction if we find out if there are other animals that we mention here, okay? So I'm going to read, and I just want you to read along with me, and in a minute we're going to underline some things. Ready? You ready? Introduction. So your eyes are on your text. Good. Did you know that one blow of a grizzly bear can crush the skull of an elk? That a small fish called a piranha can be more dangerous than a shark? This book is about animals that few people like and nobody loves except for Tiara, who likes spiders, right? Some of these animals are dangerous. Can you point to the word dangerous? Yeah. And you were thinking like a shark might be in this book, right? Probably because they are dangerous. Some are pests. Still others may seem strange because of their appearance. I think this animal looks strange because of its appearance. Just trying to blend in. I think that's true. Many of the animals in this book have had stories told about them or books written about them. But it's likely that not everything you've heard or read about these animals is true. Some animals just have bad reputations that are not based on fact. Animals are not bad or evil. They do what they must in order to survive. survive. Hmm. You may never love a rattlesnake, a a cockroach, or an octopus. But this book may help you begin to understand and respect them for what they are. So in this introduction, I'm going to ask you to underline a couple of words and phrases that I think um, helps us understand the purpose for this book. And we'll come back to this introduction across the next few days, okay? All right, one thing I want you to go back to that second paragraph and underline that some of these animals are dangerous. Okay, go ahead and underline that with your pen. Some of these animals are dangerous. Find that in the second paragraph. Tiara's got it. Mm-hmm, yep. Some are pests. Can you underline some are pests? Let me find that. Mm -hmm. Good. Wait. Still others may seem strange because of their appearance. Right. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's, what's the last one you said? Still others may seem strange because of their appearance. Yep, you've got it. Yep, right, exactly, right there. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to go to the very last paragraph. This book, 
this book may help you begin to understand and respect them for what they are. As we read today, let's be thinking about, are these animals dangerous? Are they pests? Are they strange because of their appearance? Are we beginning to understand them and respect them for what they are? Yeah.